So I have the back glass all cleaned up and I'm trying to get the seal around it. Now this is another seal from Daniel Carpenter. There's the part number. This was ordered years ago from Mustangs Unlimited. Been sitting in the bag ever since. And I recently just took it out and started stretching it around the glass. Now an ob observation, and I'll see if I can show you this, that what appears to be the corners of the glass, of the rubber, there's a, almost like a reinforced piece right here in, in the corner and in stretching this around the glass, what I've found is these correspond to the lower ends of the glass. So it's just kind of a thicker piece and it's got a, a bit of a radius to it. Let me see if I can pull that up a little closer. Uh, it has a you know, formed kind of corner to it. Now, I will say, um, I've been trying to stretch this over the glass. I haven't tried real hard, but I have been piecing it on and I will admit there's no bedding material in here there's no glue or anything uh, I'm just trying to stretch it and get it to fit around the corners as it needs to so just keep that in mind when you're doing that to make sure those corners are in the right place because it fits good everywhere else but like I said this this down here this is a stretch and I'm just trying to be careful with it. If I have to, I'll stretch it off the top edge here to try to give myself a little more length down here in the corner. And that may be what has to happen. Because it is quite the stretch. <laughs> What I may do is get some from this other end here and kind of work it around. Whew! That was tough. I felt like I was making one of those videos where somebody stretches rubber bands around a watermelon just waiting for it to burst. This was pretty tight. And I will say I got the corners really close. At least what I perceive is the corners. You know, where that reinforcement was and the way it fits. There's a line right there and a line right there. So that fit and it looks like it's going to fit really nice. Now, this is what I plan to use to put this in. This is 3 16 synthetic clothesline. Uh, that'll get worked into the inner flange down here. Show you where it separates. That's what goes around the pinch weld. So you have to work that in so that whenever you set it into the car and you pull the rope, it pulls the lip around the pinch weld. So that's how that works. And to make it easier, what you can do is soak this down with like Windex. So it has a little bit of slip to it. I also bought this kit, uh, mounting kit, windshield uh, molding, 67.8 Mustang Coupe. Uh, believe, yeah, this is NPD. And what came in it was six I believe it, these are stainless steel screws that goes into the trim that goes on the back sides of the, of the glass. It also came with six of these clips and 29 of these clips. Well, what's the difference, you ask? Well, all the perimeter clips on the forward windshield or the windshield and back here take these short clips. These, because it is such a big drop down to the flange, it takes these longer clips. So you slip this around your post, and then you have to push it all the way down. Now, I'll show you a simple way to make this go down. Sorry, to make this go down. Uh, you can take like a putty knife or a scraper and hook it onto these uh, little flanges sticking up. Kind of drive down on it with a mallet and just tap that onto that post. On these shorter clips, you can tap down a little bit with the mallet on top to get them started. And then, this comes in really handy. This is a just a uh, 
panel remover. We use them at the body shops all the time. And basically you can hook that as well around those two little pieces that are, you know, the tabs there and just tap it down. Same deal. Another thing that will come in handy, a booger hook, or seal puller as the layman may say, but this is aircraft industry, these are called booger hooks. Uh, and again, I'm going to take this rope, work it around the edges, and I'm going to have the both tail pieces meet at the bottom of the glass. The reason for that is I want to start with the bottom of the glass in the channel, and then work up and around to the top. So really not that complicated once you get the rope out of the package. But basically, you can use your fingers, you can use a putty knife, whatever you have available. Separate the seal and just push the rope into it. I'm just going to do a little demonstration here. So I'm not going to waste the time <laughs> doing the whole thing. But you get the idea. So the rope is in the seal, and what I'm doing is spraying it with Windex. And that really does help make it slick. What we'll do is, I'm going to pull this away a mm -hmm. little bit, see if you can get that corner set down in. I got the glass, if you can reach your other arm, maybe, I know you can't get that, that far around. We want to get the bottom started if we can, by all that corner. Oh, there we, you get it? Yep. Okay. I felt it slide over. So, now, <laughs> you hang on to it. And I'm going to see if I can get that corner. Now, it would have been probably smarter in, to the video audience had I maybe started the rope in the corner rather than the center. Probably. I didn't think about that until just now. So, I'm going to use the booger hook and try to walk it around. Okay. Almost too far. I'm going to try to see which one is it, this one. All right, so I was using the hook and getting behind the seal and just kind of walking it along. But now I have the rope and I'm going to pull gently and you're going to see it walk over that lip. All right, come around to this side. Now it's going to be hard to deck. I'm not going to be able to hold the camera and do all this at the same time, but basically I've got to walk it around this corner and I may end up having to use the hook at the same time and it's too hard. Maybe I can set the camera. <laughs> Maybe I can set the camera on the package shelf. It's coming. All right, almost got the corner around. It's coming. Kind 
and put a little bit more on the rope. And there it goes. It's in. Now that the glass is in place, the thing that I'm going to do, and this is totally your call as to how you want to approach this, they talk about putting a sealant inside underneath this lip. So I can pull this back with my fingers and really see the whole glass all the way to the edge. So I have some of this 3M auto bedding and glazing compound. The idea being, that I will put some of that inside the seal and in between the glass and the seal itself. I'm not going to do that in this video, but I'm just letting you know that's that's where I'm going to be going next or what the plan is. So just so you know. Well, that'll be the end of this video. I still have the trim to put on. I'm not ready to do that yet. I have to polish it up some to get it ready. Um, of course put that bedding compound around the seal, but that'll come later. At this point, I'm just happy to have that glass back in the car. Now, next one, or the next glass, will have to be the windshield, of course, and that'll come later. But I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Hit that like button, and until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya!